and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Katarina Burn. That's right, another uh, champion that got a buff that we want to try out today is Katarina. So we're going to be playing um, no Noxus PNZ Aggro, you know, like these burn style decks that you know you all you all know about, but with Katarina. So I'm going to go Draven and Katarina because Draven also got a buff. How um, you know we talked about earlier with our Draven control deck. But it should be easier to level up Draven. So let's try out Draven also with Katarina. Um, basically, what Katarina's buff is, is that now it has a play trigger. So whenever you play Katarina, you create a fleeting Blades Edge in hand. Maybe that gets that one extra point of damage for us, potentially. Um, but also can clear out a blocker or anything like that. Uh, leveled up Katarina does not create, like every time you play Katarina when she's leveled up, does not create the Blades Edge, but the first one does. All right, and then, you know, maybe we get, like, the extra attacks. Katarina is basically our late-game card here. Um, trying a couple of Mites instead of... Um, instead of Brothers Bond. I'm just not... I'm not real big into Brothers Bond, honestly. Um, but I could definitely see playing a lot of other things instead of Mites. Um, I'm playing one Chempunk Pickpocket also to get one extra two-drop in there. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like... Uh, I'm not, you know, just like, like tied to the mites. Like, I'm not sure we like necessarily need them. I mean, maybe there should just be decimates. We'll just go. Let's just go decimate. We'll just play that card. Decimate's cool. All right, we'll just do that. All right, but anyway, here we go. Let's let's play some Katarina Burn. Let's get our Reckoner's Arena. And here we go. Let me edit the deck list. Let's play Decimates instead. Okay, save that. And there's a Decimate. We'll put it back. We'll keep the one drops and the Katarina. Because we're trying to trying to see what Katarina does. So, <clears throat> Callista Elise, you know, like, I could have seen them playing Hapless Aristocrat, and I'd rather have the rear guard attack. Or, you know, like, I'd rather play the rear guard if they did have a Hapless Aristocrat than a Saboteur. I don't want to just get the damage in and attack right away. Yeah. Okay. that I'm planning on playing Katarina here. Let the begin. Create the Blade's Edge. I want them to level up Callista. If we can avoid it. So I, I basically I don't want to target the Blades Edge on this thing first, because then they could use like Glimpse Beyond on this and then level up Callista, but yeah, they're dead. They are now dead. Alright, cool. Look, we were gonna kill that 2-1 after combat. Like that was nice. Thank you, Katarina. One game in. Katarina looking good. Their hand also looked very slow. Drave? Or, sorry, Dar Darius? Trindamir. I don't see too much Darius Trindamir. 
thought we were just going to draw the exact same two cards that we just mulliganed. Oh, yes, we did. How about that? I want the two champions that are three mana cards, not the get excited and use cask salesmen that are three mana cards. Shuffles two enraged Yeti somewhere into the deck. The thing about blocking here, getting these off the battlefield, is that then they don't get to block my Spiderling and Grenadier and stuff like that. I know this is fearsome, though. I'll block. Hopefully those are shuffled towards the bottom. Those five fives. We may need, you know, we may need the salesman to block some five fives for us. Cool, I think I'm blocked. The Grenadier, the Salesman, like these things are direct damage. I don't want to discard direct damage spells to um, to the Get Excited. Just have. Does it ever just like not shuffle them like right away into the deck? All right, I only get one blocker, but instead of two, but I guess it's worth it. This would be four damage, and then I have six more in hand. We probably don't have life gain, right? Or anything that stops this. Probably don't. Hey, uh, Liam? What's up? All right, Katarina Burn. Getting some burninating in. Sorry. Getting those rewards. <laughs> Burning up some Yetis. <clears throat> Callista Thresh. Mm, this is our worst hand that we've had out of the three hands so far. Ooh, but we got Draven. Could be a tough matchup depending on like what they're playing. Like I could see them playing, you know, a bunch of like vile feasts and withering whales and things like that. Like that'd be rough. 
Um, on one hand, I could also see them playing a bunch of Undyings that don't get to block. And that would be cool. Well, that's not cool. Vile Feast. This is a tough turn. That's kind of a tough turn. Work out the best for me. Could have worked out better. I can I can kill their their Callista, you know, like with the Katarina at the Blade's Edge and the Get Excited. Um, but it wouldn't be toward until in combat. But yeah, like that's they just haven't had things die really yet. Um Alright, so we're gonna spinning axe this thing. We're going to transfusion it. And then just that, I kinda wanna play the Whirling Death to level up Draven. Like, you know, we would Whirling Death kill the Spiderling, level up Draven. Now. I don't want to, though. So they're not blocking. Put them down to six.
All right, we got leveled up Draven, leveled up Katarina, and some leveled up champions. So four mana, I can play Katarina again so we can attack again. Um... And then I still have three mana for, you know, Whirling Death, get excited. This thing has uh, Overwhelm now. Will we... Uh, it will be weird if they suddenly have a removal spell now. Okay, they don't. This puts them down to four. Um, I guess the Whirling Death just kills them. Different ways to do that. Let's let our champions win. Sweet, leveled up Draven. Got two spinning axes from the Whirling Death, two more spinning axes from this. Hey, four. Getting that resub in. Keeping that monthly resub going. Seven awesome months of Twitch Prime. Thank you so much there. Forks, you are awesome. Um, whoops. Three. All right, so that's 3 0 for Katarina Burn. That upgrade to, to Katarina was a big deal that game. You know, that fleeting Blade's Edge killed that 2 1 blocker, and that really let us get, you know, a lot of damage in there that, that uh, last turn. They didn't have that extra blocker. That was a big deal. Thank you, Forks, our first sub of the day. Ooh, playing against Swim. We got Lux Heimerdinger over here. We'll, we'll keep Rear Guard Spider Cat. Honestly, maybe I shouldn't be keeping Cat for this matchup. Like, in my opener. We have to be super aggressive. I'll just, I'll just keep them all. Kind of do one more one drops. Yuck. Don't want that card. Don't want another three drop that's not Draven. They're probably going to have like a 5 5 here. We're going to have to fight through a 5 5. Oh no, an assembly bot. Hmm. That was not what I expected. Thank you, Forks. Boom Kuroki's too good not to play first, right? Even though they get another sweet blocker. Could be a big mistake playing that first. Kind of planning on using, of just going straight to attacks here and using, and having transfusion available now. I 
Like, we may need, like, these, like, fleeting blades edges to, like, finish out the game. to play the rear guard? Six damage down to six. So, wish I did not play the rear guard. Um, yeah, we could have protected our one four and then attacked with it. Would have been nice. This Katarina experiment. Katarina doesn't really play that well with experimenter, does it? I just have the one augmented experimenter for like the slow decks when we run out of cards. I just have one in here. It's not something I'm really focused on. That's true. Katarina won't get single combated. That's true. It's a good call. So that should be okay. I shouldn't have blocked. The, I should have blocked with the one one, shouldn't I? Because then he's gonna, yeah, gonna have remembrance. I really hope it's not radiant guardian. Please not. Whew, that was close. It's just a that was close. Katarina Burn. And we got a quest. Get all that XP. Boom. All right. GG's. 4-0. Oh, wait. Let's get, let's get some final boss music. By going to the Jinx's Mayhem board. All right. Final boss music. 4-0. Trying to get the 5-0. Okay, so Swim's running a meme standalone assembly bot deck with some work map for elusive chain vest or tough, and then shady character to copy it, the bot. Okay. That is a that is a good meme deck right there. Draven Jinx, our final boss, is another burn deck. Found the one drop. Trade with their one drop. We're using Jinx's board with Jinx being our final boss. Hot. What you 
Rummage. Rummage away of vision. That's kind of a bummer. The good news is like, they're down to two cards. We do have the five three in play though. Let's see if they just attack the five. Or if they play something. Alright, they just attack the five. They're very astute with their academics. Their academia. Quite astute. Play something that's one toughness. That's not one toughness. I need one toughness. Uh, maybe I don't attack with that. And you have the Grenadier check the dredger. They'll never know what kills. Play something, let me use Cast of Salesman. Yeah. Well, I don't like that they have Jinx, of course, but I'm glad we get the use Cast of Salesman out here. And then I'll play the Draven also. Chompers. Oh, but they're not even attacking with the chompers? Well, that's a mistake. They should definitely attack with the chompers and then and take one of my O ones. So I can't chump block with an O one. Um, yeah, take a look at this, Jeff. This is, that's kind of like a, you know, it's a kind of like a, a good meta tier list that could help you out for looking for what to craft and give you some ideas. Okay, so right now, they're going out to five. And like everything I got dies. Sorry, cat. <clears throat> I thought I was all 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm, you know, like we discarded the cat to be able to kill their sump dredger. That would have been a 5 1. But of course, we're going to refill our hand, kill the Draven. Which is kind of, kind of just what I need to do. So we had to discard the cat. That was my best play. Yeah, if only you could hit face with Augmenter, but you cannot. Um. All right, GG's. Five and O defeated the final boss, being Jinx and Draven. pretty sweet. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, the list went, did well. I guess we never really even used the, the decimates, but um, that one, you know, that's why we have the one augmented experimenter in our deck, you know? It's like, there's just those games that you just kind of need it. You know, you need to kill a Draven and refill your hand. You know, sometimes you got to do it. Um, but yeah, Katarina's pretty cool. The Blades Edges were nice, actually. You know, like, you don't really want to play Katarina with three on turn three, because you really want to play it at least on turn four, so you have the one mana for the Blades Edge also. Um, but yeah, it, it was just, like, nice and uh, versatile. Um, and, you know, you can do a lot of different things with that Blades Edge. It was pretty nice. Draven was definitely good. We, we got to level up Draven one time, and then get the extra attack in with Katarina. And kill the opponent with a leveled up Draven. That was pretty sweet. Um, but, yeah. You know. Pretty good deck. Pretty good cards. Just nice uh, nice and quick. For Katarina Burn. So, so far, uh, Katarina looks like it's doing the best. Alright, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button over there and, uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think of the new champions, which ones you, you're excited about. And, of course, like always, you can always, uh, you know, comment about, like, the new cards if you have any, uh, if you want to know what I think about them or anything like that. We'll, we'll be doing a, a longer uh, stream where we talk about all the new cards once the set is out. That'll be exciting in a couple of weeks for that. Um, but anyway, that's it here for Katarina Byrne. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.